The tastes of the Rio Grande Valley are featured in Chef Jonathan Perno's menu at Los Poblanos Farm. Grand Valley cuisine tastes like New Mexico. I mean, it's the sky, it's the air, it's everything that, that encompasses this state and that river and this culture that resides here. That's my main thing. I mean, I'm from here, so that's important to me. I just believe in what I do and I believe in the nutrition that it provides. I believe in knowing that if you eat seasonal, you're tend to be more healthy because everything is at an optimal peak in nutrition and, and taste and everything. The story of the food starts from the people that produce it. the guy that gets to play with it, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I get to carry that story on. I get to enhance what they do. So I'm like part of their story. And then the people that really get the full story are the guests. So I'm just a facet of the process of the story. And my whole thing is to be connected. That's the whole thing. If it's through an individual relationship, either with a person or with a food product, they're the same. They deserve the same attention and they deserve the same level of respect. The challenge of local food is that you have to be ready to change. We have to be willing to change as people. It's gonna be nice for the mole. Because if you can't change as an individual, it's going to be really hard to change when you get a, a, a curveball because your eggplants didn't manifest the way you wanted them to. So what are you going to do? You're going to be upset? No, you're going to make adjustments. Or if we have a huge bumper crop, what are we going to do? So all of a sudden, the creative juices just start flowing and you're thinking, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And you've got one thing and you're coming up with half a dozen, a dozen different things that you can start creating out of this one thing. I do think it's important to hold on to traditional foods because those are the, those are the things that make a space special because you can't get it anywhere else. But if you want the true essence of it, you can only get the green chili here. You can only get the red chili here. You can get it other places, but in different forms. We, we, we started thinking about moles for this restaurant and for this menu um, quite a while ago, or I, I did, but then it kind of just evolved. And so we're running like two moles every six months. So we'll have a vegetarian version and a meat version. With the yellow mole, it was really about showcasing these vegetables that are in abundance right now. potatoes and onions and garlic and the eggplant and the ahi crystal peppers and the jujubes are going to be on there and the pomegranates. So this whole dish, this vegetarian mole, was, the sauce was created to showcase these harvests. So as we move into winter, the, all those vegetables that are on the dish now are going to change because the seasons have changed. But the sauce will be the same, so it's kind of like the mother that carries them, you know, and some things will be stewed in the sauce and then some of those items will ornate the dish so that you have some visual textures and um, maybe we'll create some height with it. It, 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 it evolves as the, the seasons evolve and that's what I like about the moles, they can, they can adapt. 
think that the dishes pretty much evolve themselves. I just have to make sure that I'm aware enough when to change them. That's, that's the hard part. Because the way the seasons work, the way the harvest works, you just don't know from one year to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And, and you have to have that flexibility about yourself in this industry. The things I love about food and what inspires me about it is always being surprised. Because you just never know until you apply yourself. Either if you're a diner and experiencing something you've never had before, or if you're a cook and you're being presented something you've never worked with before and you have to work through it. Those are the surprises. Those are the things I look forward for in food. Because they're always there's always, it's, it's always rewarding, no matter what. I just invest myself into the, into the product. And I hope that when people order these dishes that me and my team create, that they're as invested in eating it as we are prepping it and creating it. That, that completes a cycle to me. And to feed people well, I think that's, 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 that's huge. Because you're, you're, you're interacting with somebody that you don't even know. And you're interacting with them on kind of an intimate level. <laughs>